Uh, I was giving an update on my submuscular ulnar nerve transposition. I'm at five weeks and two days out um, since I had that done and uh, feeling pretty good with it today. I'm feeling positive. The last, uh, that was on my left arm, if you're just watching for the first time. The last couple of days and last three or four days, I would say have really made a huge difference in terms of how my arm feels and how I'm able to move it and what I'm able to do with it. Um, today, I'm out on the back patio. I mowed the yard today, actually. Uh, first time that I have mowed the yard complete uh, since I had the surgery done, obviously, um, and uh, my wife has been doing it. Uh, speaking of my wife, I was able to put my wedding ring back on um, about three or four days ago for the first time since surgery. I noticed that my hand had stopped swelling so much and my wrist and stuff, so I figured it was safe to put my ring on, and I've had that on then, uh, back on then for a while. And uh, yeah, so like I said, I was able to mow with a regular self-propelled uh, push mower. Um, just taking careful on the corners, you know, as I as I turn, just only pushing down with my right arm to turn and stuff as I as I turn and made my passes and stuff, um, and uh, not using my left arm a whole lot on that. So that turned out uh, nice. Show the yard out here. We got a little bit of going this way. There's Lucy by the tree, um, but yeah, showing out the yard there on the mow turned out turned out good. So um, I was able to trim. In fact, I uh, used my string trimmer. Uh, all my stuff's gas powered, um, so I was able to start that by uh, just putting my knee on it, you know, and pulling up with my right arm, starting that, and I was able to trim. You know, uh, if if you used a string trimmer a lot before, um, you know that uh, you well, first of all, you know it's called a string trimmer, not a weed eater or a weed whacker. Some people call it a my wife calls it a weed whacker, it drives me crazy. I said it's called a string trimmer because that's what you use string to trim. Uh, unwanted growth with. Anyways, um, uh, you guys know if you used a string trimmer before, gas powered, especially the weight's all in your right and your right arm on the engine there. Your left arm just kind of holds the handle and uh, and it uh, you know it just kind of guides it. So that's uh, obviously very little weight in my left arm as I'm running that trimmer. It just kind of guides ahead where you want it to go. Uh, but anyways, I was able to trim and edge and everything and uh, and use my blower, which I've been starting it the same way and blowing blowing with one hand, obviously. Uh, gas powered leaf blower so that kind of stuff feels good because I haven't mowed in, in my yard in over a month my wife's been doing it and uh, she's done a good job um, she hasn't mowed in a lot uh, you know a lot and she never ran a trimmer before in her life um, but you know it's not the way I like to do it and also uh, I like doing that stuff you know I like having having that uh, that pride in in um, doing that my boys are a little young yet to be mowing so um, so you know she was doing it so I'm glad to take that burden away from her although she said she didn't mind it and uh, be able to do it myself and I enjoy doing it as well um, so that's a positive thing as far as range of motion um, pretty good uh, I can't go all the way up this is my right arm my right arm I can touch my shoulder with my left arm I can't get close to doing that if I try to do that I'm going right about in here and I'm probably um, you know when I look at it probably a foot away from getting my shoulder and I can push it up more and get it further but I can't really get close to it it gets real tight back in that elbow back there and so you know I just I'll talk to the doctor about that next week I'm supposed to go to the doctor on uh, Thursday of next week that's six days away and I'll just talk to him about that say hey is it safe to force that up a little further doc you know is that good and, and I'm, whatever he says and I can do um, as far as if, if he wants me to go up a little further with that or not um, but uh, my hand, you know, we talked. I already talked about losing that muscle mass in there. That's, it, it's as is, my hand is as atrophied as it's as it's ever been on that left side. So uh, that worries me. I'm thinking. I'm hoping that's the reason we did this surgery was to hopefully get more nerve signal back to those muscles and get that left hand, um, you know, getting stronger and, and hopefully getting those muscles back. But it is super atrophied now. I can see it on the top and you know compared to the other hand but at the same token I haven't really used my left hand to grip and, and hold things tight and that kind of stuff at all so um, you know that those muscles are going to be weaker like uh, for instance yesterday I trimmed my uh, fingernails and uh, my wife had helped me with that before but when I went to trim the nails on my right hand um, and I was squeezing with my left hand I mean it was all I could do to pinch those fingernail clippers shut like it and it was just because I was so um, my muscles were weak. Yeah, I hadn't used them in a long time. So that's the kind of stuff I think as I, as I do get to the point where I can start doing things with my left arm and left hand, uh, those muscles hopefully will start coming back. This one here, that, that atrophied so bad, I don't know if that'll come back. Like as I told you before, doctor said he didn't know if it would or not. It may have been without a nerve signal for too long. 
Um, so I don't know, but uh, if it can keep me getting these other ones from losing those other ones in between either in the osseous muscles in my left hand, then we'll be in good shape that way. Uh, so I am off work now, out of summer, uh, out of school for the summer, and I, as I said before, I usually work summer maintenance at the school, but that's a very physically demanding job, and I can't do that with my left arm uh, at this time. So I'm hoping to get back into that later by the end of the summer. Um, maybe once I get on a, on a better restriction, I can actually lift some weight. And of course, then by the end of July, whenever I get fully released, I hope to work at least a couple weeks. Uh, have maybe two weeks I could work of uh, summer maintenance there just to get a taste of doing some stuff and helping them once I get fully released there in July. Hopefully I'll feel like it. But, um, but anyway, uh, I guess I'd say all in all, I'm in a much positive, uh, much more positive place mentally because I was able to, to do some stuff out here and mow and that makes you feel good to do some of the things that you used to be able to, uh, to do. Um, even though I'm not fully recovered yet and still a long road, you can at least start to see a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel when you're able to do some things. So um, that's all I got for today. So have a good one.